Bitcoin might be forming a bull flag. Asus is adding hard drives to its graphics processing units. Ironfish releases no desktop application. Nvidia is saying goodbye to the 12 VHPWR connector. AMD releases the first 7000 series CPU without integrated graphics included. And Rigel Miner releases version 1.6.1. Welcome to another episode of Blocks. This one should be short and sweet. And I am enjoying doing these. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit the like, comment, and sub buttons down below to let me know. Let's get into it. Let's start with a crucial development in the mining hardware industry. PCI THIG, the organization responsible for defining and developing the PCI Express standard, has introduced a new 12V2 X6 power connector. This connector aims to address the safety concerns associated with the previous 12VHPWR connector. The new 12V2x6 power connector offers the same maximum power rating of 600 watts, but with improved safety margins and enhanced protection against issues like melted connectors. It's a significant step forward ensuring the safety and reliability of mining hardware. With this new connector, miners can have peace of mind knowing that their systems are well protected. Don't forget about the gamers either. Miners versus gamers. Remember that old fight. Moving on to software advancements, we have exciting news from the Ironfish Network. They have recently launched the fully live Ironfish Node app, making it easier than ever for users to support the network and engage with private assets like iron. The Ironfish Node app is designed to be user-friendly and accessible to both technical and non-technical users. You no longer need extensive technical knowledge to launch a full node and contribute to the network. The app provides a simplified interface allowing you to sync with the Ironfish network, view network data, customize node settings, manage accounts, check balances, and perform transactions seamlessly. By running a full node, you not only enhance your financial privacy, but also contribute to the strength and robustness of the Ironfish network. It's a win-win situation. The Ironfish team has done a fantastic job of creating a convenient tool that prioritizes privacy without compromising user experience. Just don't forget about all the VC funding that went into it. Let's shift our focus to hardware updates now. AMD, the renowned processor manufacturer, is set to release a new exciting 6-core CPU, the Ryzen 5 7500F. What makes this processor unique is its omission of integrated graphics support, taking inspiration from Intel's Core F-series processors. Although the lack of integrated graphics might seem unconventional, it opens up possibilities for other improvements in the CPU's architecture. This move caters to specific user requirements, allowing for more customization and potential cost savings for miners who rely on dedicated graphics cards for their mining operations. Now let's delve into an innovative concept introduced by Asus, a leading graphics card manufacturer. They have unveiled the Asus RTX 4060 Ti Dual, a graphics card that incorporates an M.2 SSD slot directly onto the card itself. This ingenious design leverages the unused PCIe lanes on the graphics card to accommodate high-speed SSD storage. Instead of struggling with inconveniently placed SSDs on motherboards, users can now enjoy easier access and improved efficiency by installing M.2 SSDs directly onto the graphics card. Asus has gone a step further by ensuring efficient cooling for the SSDs. They have attached the GPU cooler directly to the SSD using thermal pads, allowing for optimal heat dissipation and ensuring that both the GPU and the SSD operate at their best. This innovation optimizes space within mining rigs and sets the stage for future integration of storage solutions within mid-range GPU segments. If we talk about this in relation to the move to proof of useful work, it is important to note that you will want to have by 16 lanes available to your mining rig or your server, essentially, in this particular case, to utilize a solution like this. 
but if you did have by 16 slots available, you could put all of the memory on the GPUs themselves and not have to worry about dealing with other things like hard drive bays, SATA connectors, backplanes, RAID controllers, etc. as it'll all just be going through those lanes. Pretty interesting design for basically any sort of AI builds that you may be doing in the future. Rigel Miner has released version 1.6.1, packed with several noteworthy features and improvements. The update includes for dual mining ERG and CASPA and ERG plus CASPA plus ZIL, expanding the mining options for Rigel Miner users. Additionally, they have introduced the AutoLicos 2 pre-build parameter, enabling users to enable or disable dataset pre-build as per their preference. Rigel Miner has also enhanced pool reconnection logic, reducing delays during reconnections if the previous attempt was made within the last 10 seconds. Troubleshooting overclocking issues has become easier with the update as the software now logs errors specifically from the first GPU that crashed, simplifying the process of identifying the GPU that requires further tweaking. Bug fixes have been implemented as well, addressing issues such as insufficient memory errors when mining Nexa with 8GB cards, unexpected end of file errors while mining Nexa and Ergo on NiceHash, slow hash rate ramp up and long averaging windows, and a division by zero error with ETHash plus Ironfish mining. Finally, let's talk about the most popular cryptocurrency of them all, Bitcoin. Technical analysis suggests that Bitcoin may be forming a bullish flag pattern, which is exciting news for crypto enthusiasts and investors alike. Don't forget about the miners. A bullish flag pattern typically indicates a temporary consolidation phase following a price rally. In the case of Bitcoin, this consideration has been observed above the 30,000 US dollar mark. According to analysts at Fair Lead Strategies, a breakout above the weekly Ichimoku cloud near 31,900 would complete the bullish flag pattern and potentially signal a further rally in Bitcoin's price. If the breakout occurs, the focus could shift to the next resistance levels at 35,900. This potential price movement presents an exciting opportunity for Bitcoin traders and investors who are eagerly anticipating a bullish trend in the market. It would also help miners, of course, be more profitable and be able to afford, afford their power bills. That brings us to the end of today's episode packed with captivating news and updates from the crypto mining world. We hope you found these insights valuable and informative. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content related to crypto mining. Stay tuned for future episodes where I'll continue to bring you the latest news, hardware innovation, software developments, and market trends in the crypto mining industry. I will see you next Tuesday.